This is Gavarok welcoming you to Let's Play Heroes Realm. We are the heroes. This is our realm. So we shall let's play it. I don't know. He's asleep and... Oh, we didn't actually look at these books. Any other books to be read? No, but there's a blaze scroll that I likely will never use. And an ice bolt scroll that I likely will never use. And a fireball scroll that I likely will never use. And a whole bunch of nothing and a ticket. I hear that you are looking for prestige. As keeper of the books, I am willing to grant you prestige if you are able to recall details of important events in our dojo's history. Would you like me to quiz you now? How long ago was this dojo founded? 500? I think it was 500. Son Goku was the founder. What was the name of his eldest child? Son Goten, Son Trunks, Son Krillin. Son Krillin! Son Gohan. What was the name of the class of warrior gurus? Oh, crap. Vegeta's the town, Ichimama's where he was born, the Ginyu Force, or the bloody Ginyu Force, so I'm gonna go with Sohei. What type of dragon did Son Goku defeat? Bronze? Where was Son Goku born? Ichiban. You got a perfect score. I will be sure to tell the sensei of your amazing memory. Four prestige. That's a little bit better. Phew! With so many students at this dojo, there is a lot of work that needs to be done around here. Well, you're going to have to do all of it, I'm afraid. I like that guy's sprite. I'll talk to him last. The Kumite is the Emperor's Tournament of Champions. I am practice practicing. I am practicing hard, so I may fight in the Kumite one day. Unfortunately, I've taken a few too many blows to the head, and so my spelling is completely buggered. The new novices are coming along nicely. Say, Miracardi, you should fight in the tournament. You're great. Oh, hello, Miracardi. Will you be travelling to Okasa to participate in the Tournament of Champions? Yes. I'm glad. You are the Sensei's most promising student. What if you say no? No! I am disheartened by that statement. You are the Sensei's most promising student! I just told you I was. You forgot that quickly. Full chests. Everywhere. Leather cap. We shall yoinkify this. Another cypress stick? Jesus. The club. And Wayfarer's clothes, which we don't need. Well, we don't really have money. But I do kind of want to... Hmm. Give you a Boken, because they're really cheap. And have pretty decent attack for something so cheap. Armor. You don't really need. Is um Miracardi able to dual wield? No. I thought he could. Uh hmm. Wait, you can you? No, he's already got it equipped. Um hmm. I could get a leather shield, but I kinda wanna hold on to it. Just hold on to money for when I get my other party members. Oh hey, a whole bunch of stuff. Is there anything I should be searching underfoot here, like for a tiny medal or something? I, I might have a look in a second, because I'm not actually looking at my um thing that tells me where the tiny medals are, so I don't miss any. Oh well, there's one. That should probably take care of that. Right, I think I just explored every pot, except that one. There we go. Anything I can use? Stamina seed, take it. Intellect seed, hold on to. Now we can give that to our mage when we get him. Not that our mage in this party is going to be very good. This party is the party that will probably have to buy a lot of um, healing herbs. Because I'm not going to have a, a designated healer in this party for a while. Eventually there will be a wonderful ca uh, party member who will be able to do that. But he got a class change first. Your father locked this door before he left to fight as the Kumite. Not even the Sensei knows what is in there. Magic door. Need a magic key. Whoa, another fish is biting. Oh, hi, Miracardi. 
You are the ponziest looking fisherman I have ever seen in my life. You do not belong where you are standing. Say, I was wondering if you could do me a favour. Yes. Could you run this fresh fish to the cook at the end? flippity flippity flang flong. I can speak English. Could you run this? Could you run this fresh fish to the cook? <laughs> could you run this fresh fish to the cook at the inn? Try saying that five times fast. I dares ya. Received fish. Better hurry with that fish, or it will go bad. I suppose it's better than a fist feast. Better be honest. That's kind of what my mouth was doing to me just then. Oh, stuck. Bugger nuts. Russ is down here. Oh, I've just... I went down there not ten seconds ago. Hey, <sighs> No matter what happens, Mirakandi, you will always be welcome here in Vegeta. Oh, it's terrible. The sacred grove has been overrun by giant bugs. Won't you please help me? Uh, sure, but you didn't let me say yes. Tiny metal hut, which we don't really need to go to just yet, but we will because we have one to turn in. Just wanted to make sure there was nothing else interesting in here. I collect tiny medals from all over the world! Oh good, you found some medals! You have brought me one new tiny medal! I have a total of one tiny medal! If you find any tiny medals, bring them to me and I will trade them for some rare items! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Back up the well. Well, why not? <laughs> Your father would be very proud of you, Miracardi. R.I.P. Tetsuo Miyamoto. I'm sure that's a reference to someone. But no one I recognize, sadly. Oh, wow. That was... That's probably a quest. Cool. I don't know how I did that. That was a sheer fluke. Vegeta was founded over 500 years ago by the great warrior Son Goku. It was rumored that he liked the isolation and peacefulness of the northern coast. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness, you found my little boy's toy. You have made my day. I will let the sensei know of your kindness. Uh, cool. I didn't actually activate that quest, but okay. I am a frogite! We have inhabited this island since long times long past! That is a dog! They have inhabited this island since... Dog! Hello, Mirakade! I understand that you are looking to garner some prestige so that you may leave to fight in the Kumite. Well, there is no better way to gain prestige than to best one of my students in battle! Are you up to it? No! Well, come back when you are ready. I want to see if I can get party members first, because I don't want to, like unbalance the experience. Mirakandi, I knew your father Tetsuo well. Oh, so that'd be the dad. The, the grave. He was an honest man and a noble warrior. <laughs> Get away from my cat. She's sensitive. You have a locked door with a chest in it. Yeah, a different sort of door though. Probably one we'll get a key to in this chapter. Knowing how this game works. In the inn! Oh good, you brought me the fish. I will let everyone know how thankful I am. This place has the best food in the village. I have been travelling the world, and this little shanty has some of the best food I have ever tasted. Where the hell do you go to get party members? I've been trying to find it all video so that I can get them before this video is up, but I might not be able to, I might have to wait. Which is kind of annoying as hell. In which case I'll just make another video, but I was hoping to like... I think that applies to him. Whoa! That, that's a lot of money that I just accidentally spent. And by accidentally spent, I mean knowingly spent. Piercing physical damage to a group of enemies. Well, I suppose that's good. I suppose at night you'll move out of their way and we can go through there. So we'll have to wait till night. Hmm. I think that's everything. Yeah, we've been to him. Been to the well. Spoken to that guy. Yep, we have.
talking to her. Is that the sacred grove? Yes, it is. But I kind of don't want to start fighting things when I haven't got a party yet. Are we allowed to leave the town? That's a question. You are forbidden to leave the village unless the sensei gives you leave. Maybe we can't get party members until Mirakadi has done all this stuff, which is a bitch. I worry about the reason behind the tournament. I have heard rumors that it is because the gurus have issued a call to arms. Is the end of the world nigh? Well, no. Talk to me. Talk to me! Vegeta is an isolated village, situated on the northern tip of the island nation of Jamongu. But of course you knew that already, Mirakadi. So why did you say it then? For the audience's benefit. What audience? Um... Um... Look! A three-headed monkey! Right, I'm gonna have to stop the video here. No, I'm not. I'm only at 11. <laughs> I thought I was at, like, 14 minutes. I want to quickly check how much prestige I've got. Seven. Not enough. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to do some stuff without party members. Wait, what's down here? Oh, yes, I've been down there. Really? I didn't miss anything, did I? Is this definitely a solo venture? It must be. Crap. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. Yes, fight, 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 fight. Then let the fight begin! Don't defend. That sucks. Let's try Makabishi. Not bad. Actually, a good deal better than um regular attack. So we'll keep using that, especially because it's free. Zero MP cost is nice to hear. Nice! The monsters were defeated. The monsters. Just a, a trainee student is a monster. Impressive! I will let the sensei know about your fierce fighting prowess. Funnily enough, my voice feels a bit different now. Oh, that, that gives us the 10 prestige. Which is good, because I'd rather not go off to the right and do all that stuff before checking in with sensei. Uh, we're at 13 minutes, but let's prolong this, because it may mean we get our party members, and if so, then I'll just keep it at four videos. You have fulfilled my requirements successfully. It is with great honor that I bestow upon you my approval for your petition to fight in the Pru Kumite. We know the journey to the capital has been fraught with danger, so I have arranged for the Novice Master to send three students of your choosing to accompany you. Please speak with the Novice Master before you leave. Let the spirit of Son Goku embiggen your soul. Make us proud. Quest complete. Would you like to save your progress? Yes, we would. Okay. Speak with the novice master to form a party. Nice. All right. I see that you are looking for students to accompany you on your journey. Are you ready to select your companions? Yes. What gender will your companion be? Male. What is his name? I just got a... Someone's messaging me. Doesn't matter. I'll be finished in a minute. Oops. Backspacing removes two letters, I don't know why. Bilaparak, or Bilaparak. Bilaparak. Bilaparak is a Mesmer. The effect specialist. Mesmers are the masters of effect and poison magics. The Mesmer's vast array of spells can quickly turn the tide of a battle in your favour. The Mesmer's poison spell gives this class a strong firepower boost. Now, they're not a bad class. They make everybody else a lot better than they were. Uh, or than they are normally. So they're, they're pretty good, it's just that they're not that great themselves. So they will make the other three party members stronger by um, facilitating them. Uh, but Mesmer will be changing class into a better mage later on. Bilaparak is now a Mesmer. For your next companion, female. Badaria, who is technically Zadarius' sister, if you 
go by what these characters originally were when they were in my head, but because they're both warriors, I don't put them in the same class. Shapeshifter, the Feral Berserker. Shapeshifters are at- whoops. Shapeshifters are a fierce warrior class. They have the ability to shapeshift into various wolf forms that doubles their fighting prowess but renders them uncontrollable. They are the fastest warrior class. So the same werewolf abilities to uh, Amrident really, but they're a more uh, attack oriented class. Pretty much your berserker, only definitely said. What I did there by accident was uh, press down, which lets you have a look at the skills they learn. I hadn't actually done that before, because I forgot you could do it. So choosing a character, by all means press that button to take a look at all of the stuff they can learn. Like, that, that's, what, that's what Zadarius will end up learning. That's what, um, Fervan will end up learning. Yeah, anyway, shapeshifter. Congratulations. Final companion, a male? Yes, a male? Yes, a male. Rologors. All the way down here. Rologors is an engineer, the toolsmith. Rologors is technically a dwarf, though he's not really a dwarf in this game, because he looks exactly like Sid from Final Fantasy IV. Engineers are masters of the workshop. They have access to a selection of devastating tools that can be used to destroy enemies. With their aptitude, they can equip the largest variety of equipment, including custom line of armors. So basically, they use a whole bunch of attack and uh, spells called tools that don't require any MP, so they're cheap, they're, they're free to use, I think. Uh, but you have to find them either by buying them or, yeah, and then applying the item to the character. So that's their downside. Uh, and also they have Flea, which is the guaranteed escape, which is nice to have. So engineers are pretty bloody good. Yes, congratulations. Rologors is now an engineer. And we have our party. Third party. Miracardi, Balaparak, Vidaria, and Rologors. It used to be that Roman was in this one and Balaparak was in the last party, but I decided to swap and change just to see what it's like. The end result is we're probably going to have to be careful about healing and buy a lot of um, healy stuff. But anyway, I shall continue this in... That's interesting. We can save here. Strange. Okay. kind of want to save with um, Sensei anyway because cause it's Teller. Yes, I do. Let's save again for the sake of it. We Okay. That shall do us for now. Fare thee well.